Hello everyone and welcome to Forza Motorsport 7. Yes, it is finally release day. Um, I very briefly played the demo and I fairly briefly played this yet um, drivers Cup, settings and all that setup. So, uh, most diverse yeah. sanctioned motorsport series. For decades, it's drawn the racing world's best. To win, it will take speed, versatility, and adaptability. Spanning five continents and the world's most legendary circuits, only a few will climb to the top, where racing immortality awaits the winner. But first, step into the shoes of past winners and learn what it takes to win driving's top prize. I don't want to. I played the demo. Can I just get into this and do my Speed. own thing? The defining element of racing. Speed is more than the miracles of engineering and design. It is drivers who embrace the pursuit of going ever faster. Last season's cup winner, Michael Mueller, is one of those drivers. Known for bringing record-breaking cars to the track, he turned heads at the Dubai Invitational when he drove a car no one knew existed. GT2 RS. Since playing the demo, I've absolutely fallen in love with that car. Um, I've driven the GT3 RS in uh, Forza Horizon 3, and you thought I did it real life. No, I'm too poor for that. Um, and it is also superb. I mean, these things are like the GT RS line is like race cars. Hell, look at the scaffolding in the back. Stop, stay tight. The steering feels... Oh, I have to turn the dead zone off, that's why. It feels a little bit numb. Um, playing with my... Jesus Christ. I'm playing with my G27, and... Um, small, my new stuff. God, I didn't even hit the brakes. Why are you sliding? Um, small, my new stuff towards the center is obviously not doing anything because there is a slight dead zone. I can actually fix that right now. It's, it's quite wrong. No, I hate it when it does that. Press the button on the keyboard. It's like, oh, you're playing with the keyboard now. Okay. Uh, where is it? Uh, G27. I wanted to turn my dead zone down. Ah, uh, where is it? Bear with me. Yeah, here we go. Energy. Yeah, no, I don't want that up at all. The steering wheel is not old enough to have any issues, so I just turned dead zone all the way down. Uh, da -da -da, clutch access. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Handbrake, 999 million. Seems legit. There we go. Okay. And I'm going to leave everything else as it is. Save that. We're going to go back. Yeah, it feels a little bit better now. There is a difference when that, when that down. I had to do the same thing in the demo. Oops. This is the same race as the demo. I hope I don't need to do three laps. Pretty sure we've all seen this already if we played the game. Stop it. Go in a straight line for God's sake. I mean don't get me wrong, it drifts well, but I'm trying to corner, not Oh that was my fault there I hit the brakes. I'm trying to corner, not drift. Nope, oh, there it goes. I have traction control off, which probably does not help my case, but still, it shouldn't be. I'm not trying to get it to slide on purpose. Yeah, 
Yeah, I know, I already have. Like that, see? Come on. Oh, that corner was going to be tighter than I thought. Ooh, tunnel. Where's my outside view? Not bad, not bad. Good, I don't need to do any more than that. Oh, look at the flames. I'm telling you, I love that car. What have we got? Ooh, Shelby Raptor. Versatility means becoming a master of any vehicle. Stop stuttering, game. To win the cup, the drivers hell? must be versatile because they will not win with just one car, no matter how much speed they apply. Very true. At Mugello, Maria Rossi earned the series points lead. Oh, come and on, I gotta do this Forza again, too. Drivers cup itself by having the skill to drive something as unconventional as a racing truck to victory. These are cool. As you will see, because obviously we gotta go through this. I know Mugello. I played it in, um, what's its face? Settle Corsa. Nah, these racing trucks are cool. This is fun. Alright, here we go. Me. Why the AI? I need to check the settings. I don't know why the AI is that slow. These are actually. Oh, I was about to say they don't handle that badly, and then I started. What's going on? I mean, they're not going to handle, like, the GT2, for instance, but they're still fairly good for their size. I mean, you can still kind of own them like they're race cars. Fun, actually. Oh shit! Probably should have slowed down. There. Is there any telemetry? Because there wasn't in the demo. No. I really hope they didn't get rid of that because I love that feature. Of course. Oh, This game is going to have to be just as good, if not better, than uh, Forza Apex, because I took Apex off in this game. But so far it's okay, I haven't had any... Oh shit. I haven't had any of the optimization problems that are looking for now. Like I said, this is my first time playing, so what you're seeing, I'm seeing for the first time too. Um, I haven't had any of the optimization problems that people have been complaining about. I haven't. I didn't have any issues downloading it. It just took forever. It is a 95 gig download. Just be forewarned. If you're going to do it. You have, as Windows puts it, a metered connection. Um, be careful. It is not for the weak, that's for sure. I mean, rightfully so. This game is playable in some 4K or 12K. I don't know. Some K. It was ridiculous. But it is gorgeous, I will say. I will give them props there. They did a great job with the graphics engine. Oh boy. Shit, this is gonna shit on the frames, isn't it? Adaptability. It already is. Only We're not even the in the race yet. Will be able to cope with any change on the track. I mean, that's the most stuttering I've had is... Cup legend Yukio Takagi is renowned for remaining focused 
even during a downpour. So I take the wheel. To win the Forza Drivers' Cup, drivers must adapt because speed and velocity. I think that lagging sky is on purpose. When no two laps are the same. This is all very true about racing, by the way. I mean, I'm not a racing driver myself, but it is all very true. GTR course, typical. Typical, typical, typical. I don't know if I did this race in the demo, to be brutally honest. But we're gonna do it now, so uh, what difference does it make? 2016 Drivers' Cup. At least this is all wheel drive. I don't look shit. Yeah, we're in the rain. Wow, okay, we're all gonna expecting wheel spin. When I put my foot down at first, but there's obviously nothing that's gonna happen. It's just no turbo spin up there. Shit, 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 okay. Puddles will make you lose grip. That is that is what I'm wearing today. And you'll slide easily on wet tracks. And I won't complain, we're like mid right now. Oh my god, these turbos take so long in school. It's atrocious. I'm trying to push faster, but obviously not. Come on. Stop sliding! Oops. Come on, get ahead of here. Fucker, get out of my way! Hello? Seriously? Fucking AI! Come on! That was all AI right there. Piece of shit. Not that this race matters, but still, if this game is gonna be like that, it does not give me good hope. That's not gonna be a uh, good feeling inside. The last thing I want is shit like that every race. You're not the LAPD. You do not need to get me off the track. Here we go. Come on. All's good till I hit a puddle. They're sliding off, and I'm gonna be cursing myself. So, where's that fucker? I need to hit him. Yeah, look at that. Way in the back. That's what I mean. I never liked this race. I'm not a big fan of... Fucker. I'm not a big fan of the, um, the GT3 cars. I'll be completely honest. They... I'm not impressed. I think if you want a car that great, you can just go rice it get the same thing on the street. Simple as that. They are incredible feats of engineering, but that's about all I'll say. Now you've seen what it takes to win. Speed, versatility, okay, you don't give me a choice, so we're just going to skip Welcome that. Welcome to this. the Seeker Championship. Each series is based on more than 50 car divisions. What do we featuring have? different types of vehicles. So, it's so time to make a choice. Which series will you choose first? Obviously the hot hatch. If you're going to be racing, you'll need a car. Now the Ooh. first one is on me, so... Go ahead no. and pick what you want. No. These cars prove you shouldn't no. judge a vehicle by its size. Designed and built Man. for performance oh, and practicality, maybe. these hot hatches are perfect for racing around tight road circuits. Hell yeah! I'm a big... I'm a Ford man, okay? I have an F-150. I'm gonna like Ford. 
Um, a lot of these are not that bad. Even the ones I talk shit about, they're not that bad. Golf R even. 2014 and 2010. Um, Alright, what do we want? I haven't driven this car in a while. Can I sort a little bit better? Of course, it's on the way at the bottom that I want. Oh, wait, no, it's at the top. Oh, uh, I don't know. Yeah, alright, we're gonna just take this one. We've I kind of like the color, too. That you can no. use to personalize Stop. Your... No. I'm good. What the hell? I don't want a design. I would like... There you go. I like that color. And we're gonna buy it. Yes. I can't believe I'm starting the game off with a Hyundai. Hyundai. We're gonna keep going because obviously that was just for tutorial you stuff. Race, I'm sure you, you guys can make some last-minute choices. You can change your gear, tune yeah. your car, and more. Never hurts to give everything one more look this before you hit the track. A real manual, so we're gonna do that. I changed that based on the car. Um, Hunt down the best mods to challenge your skills and earn more credits. In these is this crates, their way? Find driver gear, mods, and special vehicles to add to oh, your collection. I get a VIP crate. Oh, that's right. Yeah, we're gonna open that. Are you kidding me? This is what I get for pre-ordering. What did I get? What did I get? Okay, okay, eh. Yeah. Good. I'll take all that. I'll go through this later and sell it, maybe. Let's see. That's great, I don't care. I'll take all this later. Hell yeah, it is. What else do we have? Who's over here? Or I have my VIP member grade for me. Alright. That's that. I'm not going to buy anything more yet that as it is. Alright, can I start? Yeah, we can. Maple Valley Raceway. I have no idea where this is. But we're in hot hatches now, so there should be a lot less swearing. These are the kind of cars I like driving. Properly matched. This race has been homologated. Just meaning every something. car on the track meets the same standards. Um, no, that's not it. Where is it? Okay, everything's set. There it is. Yeah, okay, limit aggression's on. I'm leaving that where it is for a very good reason. Fuck it, let's go, I'm not gonna test drive stuff, you kidding me? You guys came to see me race, not test drive a car. Wrong button. Hard in me. There we go. I love the sound of the turbo. And again, who doesn't? Feel the G's. Oh boy. Don't go off the track, please. I don't want to feel the G's off the track. Fucking Peugeot. Get out of my way. I can't make any Peugeot driver jokes because we don't have them in America. So, I'm not from Europe. Go, go, go! Shit, I don't need the pits. Out of my way, please. This is a short track, holy crap. Oh, hence we're doing five laps, okay. Transmission feels good. It doesn't feel like I'm grinding the gear every time I shift. It's usually what happens. I did that all the time in Apex. Like, I have a habit of just kind of pushing the clutch like halfway in instead of all the way. That was bad. Hyundai, 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 Hyundai. Oh, I'm 
now being the asshole. Come on. Oh, I grinded that one somehow. Come on, it's fucking going far. Get out of my way. Seriously, come on. This is not a tight corner. You don't need to hit the brakes. the engine. Each of these laps is going to be faster because I'm not stuck behind you. It will be quite nice. That corner throws me off every single time. Lap four. If I remember correctly, I was the one that said you don't need a brake there. Yet I was on the brakes a bit. My overall thoughts on the game so far, because I haven't really talked too much about it yet. Um, I like it. I kind of. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. It doesn't. It still feels arcade-ish, but that's just Forza in general. Um, it doesn't feel revolutionary, like the jump from, say, Forza 3 to Forza 4 did. Um, or even it going up into Forza 5. I know that was a big one, too. Um, it doesn't feel, like, overly revolutionary. I still feel like I'm playing Forza, which I guess is good. I know a few things people were complaining about that are new. The crate system, I think that was on their list of reviews. Um, the optimization, which hasn't been a problem for me yet, so... Um, make sure your drivers are up to date. I know NVIDIA specifically did release a driver for this game, so if you are having trouble, go up to drivers. I know everyone says that, but do it. It makes a difference. Um, yeah. That's how you race. Nice job. Yeah, I know. I, I played this. Let's state that no matter how you do in any given. All right. Yeah, yeah. Whatever. Let's keep going. I love the color on that Gloucester. Cool. You want to know how to get some easy rewards? Just keep driving. Yeah. No shit. The more you. We're gonna skip over that because forecast calls for rain. Best to prep for a wet track. All right, let's go. What is this mod thing I see? I think this was another thing under the... Under... There we go, okay. So, we'll do that. I think that was another thing under the scope. What I want to get, I want to unlock the auction house, because that was always my favorite thing in games. Because you could get really good cars for... If you caught them well enough, they're cheap. Oh, come on, game. Alright, so we'll do this race, and then we're gonna call it a day. And I gotta get this edited and rendered. It is 10 o'clock in the morning. You are my witness. I will get this up at 7 o'clock tonight. That is my goal. I will not admit I will not fail you guys. I mean, it's not that difficult. I'll have, like, three hours to render. Says. No, I won't. I'm going to be school at 12 Time to see how well this car will do in the rain. I don't think it's all wheel drive, so it should be interesting. If I remember. Oh, shit. If I remember correctly, I'm pretty sure it's only one wheel drive. Like all of these cars. Let me pass you. There we go. 
no, 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 no. Okay, no dissonance. You should be able to put it in neutral without the clutch, right? Half this grinding is bullshit. My foot is on the clutch. I mean, I know I'm not, like, overly great about the rev matching, but... That one was good, right? Come on, give me some credit here. Uh-oh. Here comes Mother Nature. Don't need to put it into fourth there, because we're just going straight into the corner. This isn't a bad car. I've always liked this car. It came out in 2013, I have to say. 2013, because I, I remember what other game did I? I think I used an Enforcer 4. Came out in one of the DLCs. I do quite like it. Um, if any of you own this and you want to provide input, how is it? Because I wouldn't buy one, but, well, I don't know, depending on how it is. like it in Forza. It's not that bad. Another car I do like, which I hope I can actually drive in this game too, is the Genesis Genesis Coupe. It's not a coupe, it's a coupe. Um, anyway. Yeah, I played that, I drove it a lot in Apex. It was a lot of fun in Apex. It's like a more expensive version of the GT86. Uh, with a V6, depending on your options. It's not bad. I did like that car too. commentate right now. I'm actually surprised how well this car is handling the rain. My laps are getting slower. I mean like two tenths of a second slower. I was expecting like a few seconds slower. It's not that bad. Yeah, I mean, I'm only losing three tenths of a second. Oops, that was my fault. Oh, shit. Alright, make that more than that now. Because I can't fucking turn. I gotta say, Hyundai has been stepping up their, ga their game in the past few years. They are rather nice cars. I don't care what you think. I like them. Um, okay, I kind of do care what you think. If you have input to all that, go ahead. But one of my friends, uh, their parents have a 2013-2014 Santa Fe Sport. It is rather nice. And the thing is freaking quick for a two of their turbo. Some fine yeah, I know. Alright, on that note, we are going to leave this off here. I will see you guys Thursday for the next live stream, My Summer Car. And... Oh, good. Now that you've hit a milestone, <gasps>
you get a choice of rewards. Uh, There'll be something great like cars, mods. It's always money. smart to have extra money on but, hand. But um, what you're seeing is your car collection. Every time you okay, can I talk? Thank you. I will see you guys later for more. Uh, well, whatever we do next.